well as two instructional webinars on Active Directory and setting up roaming profiles. What is that? So um, in uh, the Microsoft server environment, um, which is our operating system, mm -hmm. um, there, uh, the profiles for individual employees and their email accounts, okay. as, as well as your own as a trustee, mm -hmm. is set up using a software called Active Directory. And that's how we manage okay. effectively the directory of all employees and, and those who have a profile on, the account, on, our, on our server. Mm -hmm. um, so his training was about how to use Active Directory, how to maintain that. And a roaming profile is a profile that, um, as I understand it, if I have a fixed computer um, and I load my profile on a laptop, there are certain settings that will migrate mm -hmm. from one from one environment to another. Okay. And a roaming mm -hmm. profile is a type of profile that allows you to seamlessly navigate between the two. Mm -hmm. So say, for example, if I have the Chrome browser set up and I have multiple tabs open, I'm really guilty of this, I keep a lot of tabs open, um, and I have a laptop. Mm -hmm. So if I'm working here at the library and I want to take my work home with me at night, I can simply close my browser, take my laptop home, open it up, and pick up right where I left off, and roaming profiles allow me to, to mm -hmm. have that level of productivity. Thank you. Sure. Okay. Anything um, else from my report? One quick thing in your report, just that we've been very active at the French market and, and other places, and I was there this past weekend, and I saw kind of a cool new um, invention that I've never seen before that the Wilmette Library was giving away as a free item, and that is a snow scraper that has like a little glove um, that you can use. So, you know, I, how many times do you get caught during the wintertime without anything covering your hand? You've got to scrape off the snow. So, anyway, <laughs> just this for anybody here or anybody that's watching this far into the board meeting, it's a great a great thing. And I grabbed one for myself, or I asked if I could, but I was given one. So, Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. So, it's great. Very, very creative, whoever whoever came up with it. And that came with the promotional money was for. Right, what? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah. So, a snow, well, with a glove, that would be good. Yeah. Yeah. It's, a, okay. it's in Do my they car. Have extras? <laughs> Come see us at the French yeah, market. The French, French market. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I will say that September is National Library Card Sign-up Month. Um, so we, you, if you've been following us on social media, I'm actually really tickled to see all of our activity on social media right now, particularly on Instagram. A lot of our patrons are taking time to pose with a larger-than-life library card <laughs> um, and, um, you know, tagging themselves and, and whatnot and, and uh, you know, reposting those online. So that's good publicity for the libraries, good publicity for libraries in general, and just getting the word out about um, getting your card and using it, taking advantage of all the resources that you've got here at the library. I'm going to do a brief overview. It's now time for the committee reports. Dan Johnson, who's the chair of Advocacy and Partners Committee, is not here. We met, and basically it was the first organizational meeting that we had, and he presented a list of his interests, and we discussed what we felt were interests that the committee shared that fit within that committee's role. And so our next meeting for that will be posted and it is 9-24 at 9.30 in the boardroom. Okay? What day? 9-24. Oh, Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday 9-24 at 9.30 in the boardroom. And the posting will go up. And so that committee is sort of organizational evolving and trying to focus on a few things. Okay. And then I mentioned earlier that the um, Finance Committee met, and there are two tentative dates that will be finalized tomorrow. And our next meeting will be either October 2nd or October 3rd. And what we went over And we had some observers and the League of Women Voters as well as some independent. Another observer gave us some suggestions as to how we might make it more palatable so that everybody might understand our process. And so we will be looking at that and possibly putting some examples on the website to clarify it. Okay. Okay. Oops, I didn't do anything. Any comments on that meeting? Um, I, um, 
not, not particularly, I guess. Um, <laughs> I will say that the, uh, the business of the, of, the, of the Finance Committee's last meeting was primarily organizational. Um, we did do an overview of the Treasurer's report as it was presented this evening. Um, we had it ready last week, so um, uh, all seven of our trustees attended the meeting. And uh, so we did an in-depth review of, of the Treasurer's report so that everyone had an opportunity to um, ask questions. Um, in the context of a committee meeting to see if there were uh, any points of clarification in interpreting the data that's presented monthly. And we want to make sure everyone's on the same page and, and has all the facts. Um, we distributed a copy of our current finance policies. Um, the, the Finance Committee will review our finance policies. There's been discussion about um, developing uh, policy r related to our reserve fund balances, and that will be discussed in future meetings. Um, there uh, was also um, uh, there was a lot of material distributed at that meeting. Um, also, there was a discussion, and um, I think our president, our director, has gone yes, out. Yes, yeah, therefore, and in terms of looking at getting the more in-depth bid, bid, looking at our 20-year needs in terms of infrastructure equipment. Mm -hmm and just the whole infrastructure. Right, over a 20-year timeline is yeah. a way to kind of... as yeah. to when yeah. it needs to be replaced, what needs to be replaced when, so that we can get some more defined, you know, a better sense of what our long-range capital needs are. Right, um, and that, that really, I think, is, is one of the, the key elements in, in looking at um, the reserves at the library, is looking at not only the general fund reserve, but what we have in our... Um, special Reserve Fund, formerly known as our Building and Equipment Fund. Um, we did have a study that was conducted a little over a year ago as a capital needs study um, that focused on a five-year plan for the library, um, but we certainly know that um, this building is going to last more than five years and that we have equipment here that is going to endure beyond that time. Um, and so what we would like to do is have a, a, a longer range uh, prospectus for what impacts are, are going to be financially on the library going forward. Um, whether it's a roof replacement, whether it is the next outdoor renovation project that may take place when that concrete needs to be uh, redone or, you know, parking discussions or any of those details, um, we'd like to articulate those and have that more clearly defined so that we can anticipate what those costs may ultimately be. Um, the other items that were on our agenda um, included... Um, we, did, we tabled discussion of the endowment fund. That was something that we had discussed back in uh, July. Um, I believe that we're going to revisit that at a future meeting as well, um, as well as a discussion of what our priorities should be for our future meetings. Um, certainly on the table for our finance committee coming up this fall is discussion of our, our annual levy. And so we'll be discussing that here very soon as well, too. Uh, so that was kind of the agenda for that last finance committee meeting. So again, uh, we'll set a date and we'll get that posted up as soon as we can. Um, we settled on two potential dates, um, October 2nd or the 3rd, um, likely in the evening, 5.30 or 6 p.m. on those um, two nights. Okay. Information items. The ILA annual conference. That's about it, actually. Yeah. I think. <laughs> um, and multiple notices have gone out to all the trustees. I'm going on the trustee day because I find it helpful, even though it's a little ride to Tinley Park. Mm -hmm. And all trustees are welcome to come, and the library will fund it, will reimburse your expenses. Let me know if you're interested. Mm -hmm. And that is October. 22nd to 24th, I know. Trustee Daily is October 24th, Thursday, October 24th. It's like a 9 to 4, by the time you leave, 6 to 4. 6 to 6. Mm. Okay. And communication, articles of interest, uh, comments from suggestion box. Were there any comments that were distributed? I didn't see any. No, I haven't seen it. Okay. And that's passing. Any new business? I just uh, want to say that I really like the way that Anthony is handling the, <clears throat> the library with the programs and all the, uh, the different programs that reach different parts of our uh, population here in Wilmette. And uh, I think it's 
it's moving quickly to expand what we've been able to do before, and I think that's really great. I see, just see that coming. So, good. I, I enjoyed the downtown, the tea, and the concert was good on Sunday too. I brought my mother to the class. I did. <laughs> it was good. Uh, the concert, easy, accessible, under an hour for her. Mm -hmm. attention span. Okay, any other new, and the po uh, we uh, did the, christened the new drop at the uh, CTA mm -hmm. stuff, and I've used it because I go through there about once a week, and it's, if I don't have time to swing through the library when I'm trying to mm -hmm. get downtown, it's really convenient. Mm -hmm. We're collecting. Yeah, Linden. Yeah, Linden. Uh, we are. On the, we're collecting uh, statistics on that on a daily basis, and I will say uh -huh. that one of the uh, anecdotal observations that we've had on that so far is that um, there cans. are materials. Not a trash can. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm just thinking. I kept. That's what I was thinking. So I really don't put in there. No, actually, it is. It's it's getting a, a fair bit of use. Um, uh -huh. uh, maybe more and uh, than we thought it would even this early hmm. in its in Great. its um, tenure. Uh -huh. um, and and we're still we're collecting statistics from all of our remote drops. The Plaza del Lago um, drop, which is you know not too far away from the Linden Station drop and has historically been serving the eastern portion of the village, um, is still getting its regular amount of materials as it always has. In Good. fact, it, it doesn't seem to be show, showing any signs of slowing. However, the Linden drop is now seeing a lot more activity, and that's an entirely new service. So I do feel that it was warranted to do that installation. It has been validated by the use that we've seen. Um, not found in the, in the article uh, that uh, is behind tab six. Um, I, I, I think it's important to just add this note because I thought it was so fun and it, it wasn't really documented in any, in any other way. Um, when our patron who recommended the book drop several years ago um, was giving his presentation on the day that we um, cut the ribbon for the, the book drop. There was a patron with books in her hands who kind of like nudged him out of the way and said, yes. excuse me, can I put the books in? <laughs> and perfect that timing. to me was like, it, I mean, you, you, couldn't, you couldn't have asked for something better. It was just a really wonderful uh, validation of having that drop there. So that was, it was really sweet. Huh. So yeah, so we're thrilled about that. Is there a motion to adjourn? I have a motion to adjourn. I move. Is second. there a second? Mm -hmm. Second. <laughs> no, move it right along. Okay, the meeting adjourned at uh, roll call. All in favor? Oh, aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. No. <laughs> meeting adjourned at 8.35. Wow.